Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your December 2017 monthly reading. This is for the sign of Libra, and I have to remind you that it may not resonate with you. It may not. This may not happen for you, as it's for hundreds and thousands of people as a general reading. This is not a private reading, okay? Generally, my readings are love readings, but this is a monthly reading, so I will um, be intending for it to be a general reading, okay? I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. who thinks my table is his table. I have to let you guys know that time is fluid. This is be re being recorded in November, so it could resonate in November. It is intended for December. It could resonate in January as well. If you want to know more about me, you can watch my welcome video. I am just going to make sure that that is zoomed in correctly before we move forward. I think that's pretty good. I'm sorry. There we go. All right. So the basis of your reading is the Five of Pentacles. That tells me there's some kind of insecurity. All right, there's insecurity. It could be in your finances, could be in relationship, could be in your life period, could be in your thoughts. Could be you feeling insecure. I do feel like there is a need for forgiveness. And maybe you need to forgive yourself. Maybe you need to love yourself or you need to forgive somebody else. Okay? Um, I feel like you are moving in the right direction, but I think that you need to be patient. Things don't change overnight. I believe that new doors are opening for you. Okay, they are. But I feel like many of you are still obsessed with something. I'm not sure what it is, but this is an obsession, this Four of Pentacles. You could be... Um, you know, this could be, this could have to do with money. It could have to do with time. You may not be giving enough time to somebody, or you may feel like you don't have enough money. You may feel like you don't have enough to give. You don't have enough to share. You may be um, keeping it in the bank instead of um, giving it. Okay, this is the holiday season. You may, you're feeling insecure. Many of you are feeling financially insecure, but it's unnecessary. It's unnecessary, all right? You're being too frugal with your money, okay? That's what I see. That's what this card says. I think that there's a change of course that is needed. There is a change that is needed regarding how you see your money, all right? Or how you see your finances or how you feel insecure regarding your money. I think that you don't, it's, there's unnecessary insecurity regarding your money, and there is. You know, and I'm sure that I'll get some thumbs down on this because people don't want to hear that. Sometimes their money is the most important thing to them, you know. But I feel like you seriously need to make a change, all right? I see changes are needed. You can't ignore a situation any longer. You can't ignore the truth, okay? I believe that you have been procrastinating regarding a situation. You feel like you're going through some sort of dilemma. And I think this dilemma is definitely um, financially related. You, many of you feel like, you know, that you can't, that you're financially strapped. Okay? And maybe you are. But there's unnecessary worry. This insecurity that you're feeling regarding your finances is unnecessary it's unnecessary to feel this um insecurity it is it is um you need to let that thought go this ten of swords 
towards your thoughts, you need to let this feeling of insecurity go. Okay, you absolutely do. I feel like um, you are, you just, you feel very conflicted. You have these conflicted, conflicting thoughts about your money. And I'm sorry that this is all about money, but it is. I can't change it. This is the season of giving. If you are feeling, if you have money in the bank, okay, and you want to give, but you don't want to spend your money, I'm feeling that this is saying that you need to give, okay? It's time to have a change. I think that you are so, so close to having a uh, an awakening, okay, that changes everything, all right? Um, I feel like many of you, for some of you that's watching this, a new door could be opening regarding a relationship. A new love could be coming in. All right, but I still think that I think that you're not. I think that this month you're you're you could. The impact is your money. Okay, there's an impact on your life because of your insecurity regarding your finances. There's an impact on your love life because of your insecurity, whether it is your finances or whether it's inside of you. I see insecurity here. Okay, there's no doubt about it. All right. I feel like you just you're you're really worried about about spending your money, <laughs> and I'm sorry that that is so strong, but it is strong. It is. This is also a sign to let go, and we have all this money around it. So I think you really need to be able to let go of it. Really, you do. I mean, this is an obsession, and I'm sorry that that's what this is. And I know that many of you don't want to hear this. You don't. You've worked hard for your money. Okay. But we have this Ace of Cups here, and we have the Sun here, all right? And we have this Four of Wands here, okay? This is what we, and we have the Ten of Cups here. This is what we have for, for positive over here, okay? And we have the Strength, and we have the Determination, okay? And, but we have that, we have these negative thoughts. We have these negative thoughts because you, you feel like, you need to um, live up to somebody's expectations. Maybe it's your own, okay? I'm not sure. But I feel like you need to let go. The strength is about letting go, all right? Um, but anyway, where I was going with this, with this love over here, I see a change with the, with the judgment card. There's a lesson that needs to be learned. I think something needs to change. All right, I think that there's unnecessary worry and that this new love, this new happiness, this new connect, this new commitment is being affected by your frugalness. Okay, I do. It's, it's pretty clear that it is. Maybe, maybe your frugalness is with your time. Okay, maybe it's not with your money at all. Maybe it's with your time. Maybe you just don't have the time for, for new love right now. And I say time. You don't have the, you don't have time for somebody. You don't. You're not giving your full, unconditional love, time, commitment to another person. And when I say unconditional love, it means everything, including your money. Your hard-earned money. And I'm sorry that this is what this is, but this card is, is clear. This Four of Pentacles is clear that you don't want to share something. And it usually, 90% of the time, is money. All right? But this Judgment card is here to say that it's time for an epiphany. It's time for a wake-up call. It's time to release the past. All right? There's a chance for new love. There's a chance for new love with this Ace of, Ace of Cups. All right? There's a, it's a time of happiness. It's a time of giving. It truly is. 
It's a time, you know, when you give, you offer love. I do see that if you do go through this awakening, you allow yourself to have this epiphany, all right? You decide to release the past, that your love is going to shine. I see that your vibration will raise very quickly, okay? I also want to let many of you know that if you are single, you could meet somebody this month that could lead to a commitment. It could happen. A commitment where you are very, very happy and content. That could happen, okay? That could, but, but there's very minimal cards on that. There's more cards over here, okay? Where you are, you're going through a period of resisting letting go of your money. It's, it's true. This is delays. This is insecurity regarding finances, financial money. This is obsession over money. This is putting so much work into saving your money. Okay. This is negative thoughts that need to go. Okay. This is conflicts. This is, it's time to let go. It's going to take strength, it's gonna take confidence, and it's gonna take courage to change. You keep pretending that there's not a problem. I'm gonna start shuffling the next deck. This is for December 2017 with that judgment card. There's a wake-up call. It's time. It's a time to wake up. Don't delay. Don't delay. I think it's time for you to change your path. Okay? With that two of wands, it's time for you to change your path. And maybe that's where the epiphany comes in where you decide to change something, and it has to do with your finances. To love unconditionally, you need to be able to give your money without expecting it back. And I didn't, you know, that's what these cards say. That's not me. Pentacles, Page of Cups, King of Pentacles, the Emperor, very materialistic, very materialistic. Money, 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 money. Money does not bring love and happiness. It does not. There, it's a time. It's, this is an awakening. This is a wake-up call. Twos are about change. Two of Pentacles, most likely in particular. It's, a, it's about change. Okay? Now, they all mean so many things. Okay? But you have three twos now. Change is needed. Change is needed. Okay? Seven of Cups. Oh my gosh. This is, I'm trying to get the goosebumps now. This right here is money or love, this card. It is. The Seven of Cups is what, be careful what you choose because what you own owns you. This is, this reading is clearly about you not wanting to share, you not wanting to dip into your bank account this holiday season. I'm sorry to tell you that.
This is reversed, but you know I always flip them because I don't need to do reversed because I consider the reversed in every single reading. But I am going to flip it because that's what I do. Okay? You will not gain anything from not giving. Okay? I am going to flip it because that's what I do. Your happiness, your family, your stability, your security doesn't really increase by you not sharing. And when I say sharing, okay, I see changes are needed. I see you're thinking there's no problem here. There's no problem. It's not wrong for me to save my money. It's not wrong. I have to take care of me. I have to put me first. That's not unconditional love. That's unconditional love for yourself, yes. But if you're looking for this love, commitment, commitment, happiness, okay, you need to be able to give all without expecting it back. That's unconditional love. When you give somebody your money or you whatever, you can't bother them to get it back. When are you going to pay me back? When are you going to pay me back? When are you going to pay me back? It's not about that. Okay. I see it's a time of, of, of renewal. Okay. It is. It's a time for you to discover something new regarding love. Maybe it's regarding unconditional love. What is unconditional love? Unconditional love is giving all without expecting anything in return. Some of you could have an opportunity for new love to come in. It's, it's pretty clear. But the problem is, is that there's going to be some juggling. There's going to be some um, decisions that need to be made. And it's going to be, do you choose the love or do you choose the money? You might have to pay for something. And that's what this boils down to. Is that you might have to dish out some money. That you have. That you have. You might have to dish out some money that you have. And that's really going to be where the struggle lies. Okay? Do you choose... The love or do you choose the money I mean the seven of cups they all it's very clear it's very very clear we have more Pentacles in this reading than any other any other you know we do for one thing and then you know we have the seven of cups we have the Emperor um, we have these three twos that tells me that change is needed okay I see that you you want this happiness and you want this love but you don't want to share your money. And if you do share your money, you want it back, damn it. Be careful. Be careful. The Seven of Cups. Be careful what you own because what you own owns you. This is the card of choices. Do you choose the cups or do you choose the stuff inside the cups? What's it going to be? It's not about what society thinks, by the way. Okay, this one is, this person's here to please society. They're worried about their looks, worried about what they have, worried about the car they drive. Okay, because they're worried about how society is judging them. Okay. This emperor, he's the king of society. He has to, you know, he has a persona to live up to. This is in your reading for a reason. It's not about that. It's time for a wake-up call. It's time to wake up. Somebody needs your love and assistance. And when you do give without expecting it back, don't ask. If somebody asks, you know, for the needs money or a gift, don't expect to get it back, okay? Give it. That's, that's, that's the purpose of this holiday season, anyway. 
And I'm not saying this because it's a December reading, you know. It's coming up for a reason. I feel like many of you are being too frugal and you don't want to share. Because it's about you. You know, it's me. I, I have to have this for me. I'm telling you that when you give, you receive. When you give, you receive. Try it. Have faith. Twos are about faith and trust. Have faith. If you're feeling like you can't give your money because you won't get it back, have faith that you will get it back in some other way. I'm going to get you one of these angel guidance cards and see what comes up. This is for Libra. I see that your own stability in your own financial security is a big deal. I, there's some very materialistic tendencies here. Okay? And I don't really feel like your happiness is going to come and your love until you are ready to give unconditionally. There it is. Ooh, Cupid. Now this message came out for a reason. I'm sure many of you won't like it, but that's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. Cupid, we send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all of its glorious aspects. So I'm willing to bet that when you guys saw this card, you thought about love, okay? You thought about holding hands and cuddling and kissing, you know, that kind of love, all right? When you thought about Cupid, you thought about, you know, Valentine's Day Cupid. That's what came to your mind. I'm going to read this card again. We send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all in all of its glorious aspects that includes sharing your wealth without expecting it back. That's what the cards say. Talk to you later, Libra.